Hey everyone, we have covered a lot in Pygame by now, but there are some modules that are useful and are yet not discussed. So in this video, first we would see some examples of draw module. We haven't used the polygon and arc function yet, and then we will talk about the cursor module. We will also discuss a program that will be a base requirement in some of the video games. So let's get started with the draw module. I have this regular code, a very basic one, and if I want to draw a polygon, the coordinates of the polygon's vertices are required. These coordinates make a regular pentagon. Here the screen is the surface you want to draw on and green is the color of the shape. You can give as many coordinates as you want and it is not necessary that the shape should be regular. Then, to draw an ellipse, you will give in the rectangle's dimension and coordinates around which you want to draw the ellipse. In case you specify a square's dimension in place of a rectangle, you will end up getting a circle. This is basic maths. You can also draw an arc using the draw module. For that, you have to specify the rectangle's dimension. Basically, an arc is from an ellipse or a circle. So, to draw an ellipse, we specify the base rectangle's dimensions. And hence, to get its arc, we will do the same. Cool. Along with this, we also need to specify the starting and ending angles. These angles are in radians. It is 90 degree to 180 degree. Please be careful while working with the units. While rotating an image, the arguments of angles were in degrees. Okay. Please don't get confused. Now, we have used the line function in tic-tac-toe, but this is the lines function. It allows you to draw continuous lines, deviated or undeviated, crossing through these mentioned points. 5 here is the thickness of the line. This false here is used for not getting a closed figure. If I make this true, I would have a closed figure if possible. Now, let's run this and see if we get the desired shapes. So yeah, I have my polygon, I have the pentagon, I have this zigzag lines made by the lines function, I also have my ellipse and I also have my arc. You just need to note that the arc was taken in an anti-clockwise direction from 90 to 180 degrees and yeah, that's pretty much it. Now let's move on to the cursor module. So we have three types of cursors, the system cursor, bitmap cursors, and color cursors. The system cursors are constants available in the module. We can have cursor hand, cursor no, arrow, crosshair, and a lot more. There's a complete list of it. And this is how you create a system cursor. To create a bitmap cursor, you specify pygame.cursor.arrow or .broken underscore x or diamond. This would be a black and white cursor that uses the bitmask arrays. And to create a colored cursor, you need a surface. So we have a surface of size 10, 10. We fill the color of the surface with sky blue or any color you like. It's the color of the cursor. And then you use the uh, cursor class. You may note that this cursor class of cursors module is a good example of object-oriented programming. This 5,5 .5 is the hotspot of the cursor and needs to be within the surface. Cool. I have initialized the system cursor and this is just a way to see both the cursors. If I click on the mouse, I would see the bitmap cursor and if I input alphabet C from the keyboard, I get to see the colored cursor. So this was the cursor's module. It was pretty simple. Let's run this and see the three cursors. So initially I can see my hand cursor, if I click on the mouse, I see this broken X which is a bitmap cursor and if I input C from the keyboard, I see my colored cursor, cool. So these were the type of cursors and now let's see the program I was talking about in the beginning of the video. So this program lets you move a picture along your cursor and it is very useful when you want to move a figure in a video game using a mouse. So for that, you would need to load the image. We have done this many times now. It should be easy to understand and then I have my rectangular object for my image. I have this moving boolean to save the cursor's state. Now in the events loop, if my event type is mouse button up, like I have released the mouse 
moving becomes false. If it is mouse button down, then moving is true and I would check if the event's position, my cursor in is inside the image surface. That is the rect object and if the mouse touch is in motion and moving is true, I would move my rectangular surface along with my cursor or mouse. That is my event. So if I run this, I should see an image that would go, that would move along my cursor. Let's see if that happens. So yeah, I see my image moving along with my cursor. As I move the cursor, the image moves along with it. And this is very similar to the moving object program that we did. But that time we took inputs from the keyboard. This time it's the mouse we are using. And that time we used a figure. We made our own figure using the draw module. This time we are moving an image and we have loaded an image. So this was pretty much about this video. Thank you.